Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday, July 31st at the end of the month of July. That's crazy. Um, you obviously figured out, I'm sure, that I didn't do videos last week. I just, uh, I decided to just take the week to kind of regroup um, after camp and just kind of get my mind back in order and, um, you know, focus on what comes next, which is school for me um, in just 17 days till kids come back. Uh, kids come back August 17th. We go back on that Monday, but um, just trying to get my mind focused back and, uh, you know, get kind of my life back in order because from going from VBS straight into my camp, uh, my life was kind of in shambles there for a couple weeks. So um, I apologize for that, but I just, I needed the time to just get myself back um, in order. So we are going to hit the ground running and uh, it is all going to be a-okay, but um, happy Monday. Uh, hope you guys have had a great week. Uh, have a great weekend. We had our family birthday party um, over the weekend for my dad, for granddad, and for grandma. They have three birthdays within four days, so we do a big family party. Um, so we did that, but uh, hope you guys have just had a great, great time um, since I've talked to you last. So let's dive in. Today's title is Light in the Darkness. It says the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. It's John 1 verse 5. So this is another guest devotional by Levi Veers. Um, he was a WISH recipient. Have you ever felt alone or that things are going the exact opposite of the way you want them to go? I've felt like that many times. In those moments, God continues to show up and remind me that he, that just as he spoke light into existence, his light can overcome any darkness. When I was younger, I had a bunch of surgeries that required intense recovery times. I was in a dark place in my life and I had a hard time seeing the good. God knew I was struggling and he used those moments to show me just how much he loves me. If you turn a flashlight on and cup your hand over the top, you can still see the light through the creases of your fingers. It's as if the light is fighting to get through. God's love is like that. In those moments when it is difficult to understand why hard things are happening, even though in those moments when it is difficult to understand why hard things are happening, even though you try to cover it up, God doesn't turn off the love of his light. He uses every one of those opportunities to pursue you. He will use other people to shine love over you through their actions and words. He separated night from day to give you rest and affirm that the sun is constant. So is his love for you. Think about that. Every day the sun sets and the sun rises again the next morning without fail. That's God's love for us. Without fail, he will be there time and time again. And that is a promise. Everyone have a great Monday, have a great start to your week, and of course, go be the example.